fifth grade, chapter five, lesson five, decimal division. How can you use a model to divide by a decimal? Leah is, Leah is making re reusable shopping bags. She has three and six tenths yards of fabric. She needs three tenths yard of fabric for each bag. How many shopping bags can she make from the three and six tenths yard of fabric? Shape decimal models to show three and six tenths. Cut apart your model to show the tenths. Separate the tenths into as many groups as you can. So how many groups um, of, ten of tenths are there, guys? Three. There's 12, twelve groups of three tenths. So use your model to complete the number sentence. So three and six tenths divided by three tenths equals twelve. So we can make... 12 shopping bags. Explain why you made each group equal to the divider. We needed to find the number of groups of 3 tenths in 3 and 6 tenths. Identify the problem you would be modeling if each strip in the model represents 1. We modeled 36 divided by 3 equals 12. Number 3. Dennis has two and seven tenths yards of fabric to make bags that require nine tenths yard of fabric each. Describe a decimal model you could use to find how many bags he can make. You would take 27 divided by nine equals three bags. Make connections. You can also use the model to divide by hundreds. Materials, a decimal model and colored pencils. So Julie has $1.75 in nickels. How many stacks of 25 cents can she make? From one dollar and seventy-five cents. Shade the models to show one and seventy-five hundred. So how many ones are there, guys? One and how many hundreds? Seventy-five. Cut apart your model to show the groups of twenty-five hundred. So how many groups of hundreds are there? Seven groups of twenty-five hundreds. Use your model to complete the number sentence. So one and seventy-five hundreds divided by twenty-five hundreds equals. Seven. So Julie can make seven, seven stacks of twenty of twenty five cents from one dollar and seventy five cents. So use the model to complete the number sentence. So here they show one and two tenths, and then they want to divide it by three tenths. So in each group they put three tenths. So how many groups did they have? Four. Over here they had forty five hundredths, and in each group they wanted to put. 900. So what did they have? How many groups? Five. Over here they had 96 hundredths and in each group they wanted to put 24 hundredths. So how many groups did they have? Four. Here they have one whole and in each group they want to have five tenths. So how many groups did they have? Two. Two. Alright, so how many holes did they have? They had one hole and eight. Eight tenths, right? How many did they want to have in each thing? Six tenths, right? So they had one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need 18 total, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then another group, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this all converted into how many groups of six tenths? Three. Then we had one flat and how many tenths? Two. Two, right? So we needed to convert this into, so how many total tenths are there, guys? How many total tenths? You have 10 here and two here, so 12, right? So we need to have three in each group, right? There's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we need to circle those for our groups. So how many groups did we have? Four. Four. <coughs> On number seven, how many hundreds do we have? Twenty-four. So I would draw twenty-four hundreds. Okay, 
Now, how many do they want in each group? Four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. So each one of these would be a group. So how many groups did I have? Six. They have one in seventy five hundredths. Okay, so I'd have one flat. Seven tenths and then five hundredths, right? Now, how much do they want in each group? How much do they want in each group, guys? Thirty five hundredths, right? So if I did, there's one group, right? And then I could do another group of 3,500. Okay, can I do another group of 3,500? Yep. Can I do another group of 3,500? Yes. <coughs> can I do another group of 3,500? Can I do any more groups of 3,500s? No. So my answer is five. All right, the next one. How many flats am I going to have? Two. Two. And then how many total tenths are there in there, guys? This one has 10 and this one has 10, 10. 24. There's a total of 20, right? And how many do they want in each group? How many tenths? Four. So here's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How many do I have now? Four. I have 16 total, right? So I need one more group. So how many groups did I have? Five. Five. 